What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. We are doing a couple of different things today. Ike bought another motorcycle. Bet you can't guess what it is. And we were thinking about it too. Like this chassis is a lot heavier than we originally intended for it to be. And Ike has an 1100 laying around off a motorcycle. So we're just gonna take some measurements and see like, you know, if worst comes to worst, we can't get the 670 uh, where we want it down the track. We're gonna make, make some measurements and uh, see if we can shoehorn it in there. Uh, we got uh, 16 inches. So 16 inches. 16 inches. And is it shaft drive? Yes. So even if it'll fit in there, we need to figure out how to get the power to the wheels. Well, it'd be a drive shaft going to the back and we'd have to have a uh, a, like a rear end out of a Toyota truck, or maybe a uh, Chevy Vega, Chevette. Uh, we might be working on Ike CT72 because uh, he thinks he has bent valves. So we're gonna be checking that out. Uh, in addition to that, maybe drilling out the carb jet, freeing up that exhaust, putting a higher flow air filter on it. Anybody that knows what fuel mileage is on one of these Honda CT70s? Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Shorts were a, was a bad, bad idea. idea. All right, we're out here at Ike's abode. What you got, man? It's gonna be back there. All right. Hey, it's the rug, man. This rug did turn out very good, man. It's all shiny and stuff, and it's patinaed. It looks really good. And this Corvette is exactly where we left it. Yeah. All right, what are you doing, man? I'm, I'm getting to the bike. I don't know if you can see very well. Oh, is that this, the engine? This is the engine. See the frame? Yeah. That's, that's, I built that frame. Custom frame? What did it start life as? Uh, well, the tree is from a Kawasaki. The front forks are like Schedule 40 pipe. Right. Nice. Uh, the, you see the Springer front end I made for it? This is a leaf spring from a Chevy Camaro. Nice. Yeah, my own design. So you never finished it? I've never finished it. We had 16 inches, correct? Yeah. This thing's like 18 inches. Oh. 18 inches wide. All right. So if we want to use that engine, we need a new chassis, basically. Basically, yeah. All right, so we're going to head to lunch, and then we're going to go to Ike's warehouse, where he's going to show us his new motorcycle. I think you guys are going to be very surprised. They multiplied. Yeah. <laughs> They're, yep. So you now own three. Yeah. 1972 Honda Trail 70. So why'd you, why'd you buy this third one, man? Because the guy I bought these from said that these bikes belong, belong with each other. Together. Okay. I paid 550 for both. Oh, okay. So 575 or 275 for each. Yeah. That's not a bad price for these things, man. I don't think so. Uh, especially since both of them can be fixed. All right, but I'm going to pull this head off. Let yep. me see if I can find a tool in this place. So Ike thinks the head on his primary yellow CT70 has bent valves because on a few occasions, whenever he tries to upshift, he accidentally downshifts because the no. shift pattern... No, I didn't bend the valves. They've been like that ever since I got the bike. Oh, all right, man. No, actually, I will agree because it's always been that slow. It's always been that slow, but you downshifting rather than upshifting has not helped things. It has not helped at all. It's a touchy subject, as you can tell. Backyard head shave is what this is. More compression with a belt sander. Pull this chrome piece off to get this head off. It's so close, man. 
I'm gonna have to take that fender off. They've been off-roading with this thing. There we go. Look at that valve open. Stuck valve? It's either. Or it's bent to smithereens. Let's say it's stuck. Yep. There it goes. I, when I when I spun this engine over, I was like, man, this thing's got no compression whatsoever. I want to cut it down to the point where it starts coming out and hitting this piece right here. Which that's going to be, I'm just guessing, 40, 50 thousandths. We got two dissimilar metals here. You see the line? Yeah. That, that looks like steel and this is aluminum. So has this thing got a steel insert? So this paper is just too worn out to use anymore. So we're going to go to Lowe's, buy some new stuff, and change it out. Bam, got some new sandpaper installed. That's where you wanted it. I think I took a lot off. I think you did too, man. Good. You can see how much I took off of it. Oh, you can with the dowel pin. So where that line is and the dowel where pin. That where that line is. Turning. Yep, that's where it was. That's a lot, dude. So we're gonna do the head swap at Ike's work cause we got more tools there. Um, and I'm gonna adjust my chain and my rear wheel is like cocked. I don't know which direction it's cocked, but apparently it like kind of dog legs going down the road. I can't have that. So anyway, that's where we're going. Uh, to do the swap. Probably going to drill the carb out to uh, de-restrict the muffler as well. See y'all there. It doesn't need to be 100%. I, you know I got to open that up some. The valve ain't shut. It's either got a bent valve or it's not seated. Dude, I can see why it was open. It's got garbage stuck in between. Oh. And see yep. how it's squished? Yep. That's why we were seeing light. You don't polish the intake because you want the intake a little rough. Uh, so when the fuel flows through, it kind of breaks it up. Now the exhaust, you want it smooth all right let me see if i can try to get this uh, valve to seat so there's specific compound for lapping valves yep that's crazy man that is crazy looks good looks like it did what it was supposed to well it's double valve spring yep fancy so ike's reassembling uh, we got the valve springs in and we almost threw the head across the room But we got him in the keeps were a massive pain in the butt So while he's doing that I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the fender off take these chrome pieces off because These need to come off in order for the factory head to come off Save the gasket Oh, okay. Now, there's the T, there's the timing mark for top dead center. See it? Oh, oh yeah, I do. Right there. And right here, we have a dot on the camshaft sprocket and a notch right there. I sure hope that the valves are bent on this thing because then I'm gonna be like, I was so right. Look, dude, this is thread tape. Someone stripped out the threads on the intake and, and look at all that. Jeez. It's not even clean. We, I had a bad... You had some leakage happening. I had man. some leakage. That'll hurt your power? That'll hurt, definitely hurt my power. Now let me get a light and just, I hope that I see daylight through there. Otherwise I'm gonna be a little- The only bit. time you wanna see Ben Bell. Yeah. Not on the exhaust. 
Everything looks fine, dude. Normally I would tell people not to use silicone on uh, head gaskets. Use the copper gasket maker. But we don't have it here. And we want this now. So, uh, and this is again temporary because we are going with the... Uh, Hopefully 140s. Yes. We are hoping to upgrade the carburetor at the same time as doing head work on this bike. Uh, my bike has a 110 carburetor from gopowersports.com and that's why we think it does so much better than this bike now that we know that this did not have bent valves. Um, but for right now, just drilled out the jet. We're gonna see how far that gets us. See the little, dot? Yep, a little dot. But the mark is right there and that dot is up from that mark. So, am I a tooth off? Switch it up a tooth and see what happens, man. Yeah, why not? Yeah. There's the one tooth. I swear it's like that dot is halfway in between. Could it be from the time and chain so loose? I don't know. But we're gonna try this one tooth advance and see if that helps at all. So the timing is back to where it was. I fired it up and it's still spitting and sputtering. So we're just going straight to carburetor here. Um, we think this is for a 150 cc, uh, like life in style engine. This is the one that we originally swapped onto my CT70 and it was too big. But because Ike's engine is more modified, we think this one will work pretty darn well. And you can find this carburetor at gopowerspores.com. Oh yeah, the throat's bigger. Yeah, I'd say slightly larger there. Oh. <laughs> hey, oh. Timing up a notch and try it again. Change the timing again? Well, maybe we ought to go for a ride first. Dude, you are in trouble. You are in such trouble. No, I'm not. Once I play with this timing again. Yeah, there we go. Thing's a dog. Really? Yeah. I think it's slower now than it was last night. Every time I touch this thing, it gets slower and slower and slower. I'm going out of my mind here, bud. I did port the head. The intake and exhaust. There is a such thing as going too far. So I guess the next thing I'm gonna do, which not in this video, is put the old head back on it and... See if it does any better. See if it does any better. I mean, I, I don't feel bad doing those mods to that head. It was a parts engine, so please don't hate. Uh, but I will be putting the other head back on it and see if it does any better, so. So I called Aaron at Go Power Sports, who is a CT70 expert. 
and was informed that by shaving the head, you're retarding the timing because it's an overhead cam engine. Yep. So that's why it runs like crap. It'll be fine. You got something up your sleeve. I got something up my sleeve. It'll be fine. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm coming after you, boy. I know you are. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. This Saturday, Go Power Sports tent at the Paid Swap Meet, 2 p.m. We're gonna be there having a meet and greet. We wanna meet you guys in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, really looking forward to it. Always love going down to Texas. We're gonna be doing some mini bike racing, some go-kart scrapyard building. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna film the whole trip, so for the 99.8% of you who can't be there, uh, you guys are gonna see it too, so you won't be missing out. Support the channel by picking up some of our stickers or shirts at cars-cameras.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you Monday. We're working on the Ducati cart, finally.